Can you believe this? They're saying there's monkey DNA in the vaccine. Oh yeah, it's that on top of the uh, pig's fat and the government trying to kill us all. Who's saying that anyway? No, it's one of my mates. Um, he's never been a much of a conspiracy theorist, but he's changed since COVID-19. Ah, COVID does that to people. You must say something, you can't leave it at that. Yeah, I need to be a bit more careful than what I say. And then, um, and then he got me that night, and he said, <laughs> Trying to get him to say I love you. Trying to get him to go that his phonic songs, you know. Is he? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good because he's just kind of been struggling before, hasn't he? Yeah, he's doing really well. Oh, come on, come on, message. Oh, apparently there's a trial for the vaccine. Hmm. Oh my God, there's monkey DNA in it. Oh, if they got monkey DNA in it, that means I haven't done enough research or like enough trials. I don't want monkey DNA in me. No, you know what, I'll just ask the guys. Can you believe my friends? These guys are educated people. I don't get it. They're educated people coming out with all this nonsense. Here, have a look at this. The world has gone mad. I mean, I can understand people refusing to give the jab for whatever reason, but to blatantly deny COVID, that's dangerous. I don't know your friends, but if they're educated, as you say, that's shocking. Yeah, it's difficult to argue with these guys. They sound so convincing until the arguments are actually challenged and you realise it's fake. You know what, Homain? There's so much things going about this vaccine. What do you reckon? Well, no, I think, I think, I think Ruman sounds the most convincing. He sounds the most legit. We know he chats a lot, but he's got like no scientific background, so... Oh, we need a professional opinion. Yeah. Oh. Hi, Doc. Hey, Patrick. Hey, man. Hi. So, everyone. I hope everyone's okay. Oh, doctor's here. Someone's in trouble. <laughs> Salam, Doc. What brings you to call us, eh? I thought you'd be running around saving lives. Nah, I am actually, but I have some important things to say. Actually, uh, just before you carry on, um, you know that thing we was talking about? You know that thing? It's a rash. It's nothing more than that. It is just a rash. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'm getting a bit worried then. Hiya Doc, you keeping safe? What's new? Mm, we're doing our best, dear. How are things at the office? Oh, just busy, really busy. With everyone's closed. But I think we're the only service that's open. Pleasantries aside, guys, I was on my break and was just reading your messages. What's going on, guys? If, if you had any questions, you can always ask me. I have to say I'm a little surprised that you guys are being taken in by all this anti-vax nonsense. Listen, dog, there's actual proof. I've done my research. Do you actually trust this government? Do you actually think the government cares about us? Rummel, there's 
things they could have done better, absolutely. But no one's ever managed a global pandemic. This is a once in a century event. To say they're trying to murder you, am I involved in that conspiracy? Or your sister or your cousin who all work for the NHS? It's not Matt Hancock or Boris Johnson seeing these clients, it's us. Were we raised with an agenda to kill people? What are you saying? Do you know how offensive that is? And and Rommel, are you are you on the toilet? That makes things even worse. <laughs> In these past few weeks, there are countless lives lost that we had no way of saving, and others where we were able to make a difference. But to read these comments from my own friends, I've got to say I'm genuinely heartbroken. No, we don't know the whole detail. But we do know that you're giving you 110%, Patrick, so don't worry about that. Oh, Doc, don't be disheartened. We all know you're hardworking. You help a lot of people, and some of those people could be us. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with what you've uh, said. You, you know I trust you 100%. The CDC make it absolutely clear that there are side effects, like with any medication. Those may cause temporary side effects, which may include hospitalisation and care from a health professional. At no stage does it say that taking the jab in the study had permanent damage. I've read the report cover to cover. That's what I've been telling them, and they don't listen. We just have to explain things properly to them. Yeah, but what about my other friend? He's one of your lot. He's a doctor too. I'm not going to say his name, but what about what he says about the side effects? Who's this anonymous doctor? This isn't how scholarship works. Nobody gives an opinion from the shadows, because if they do, they can't be taken seriously, as they can't be referenced. It's pretty basic. Yeah, what about that doctor? You know, boss man of Pfizer, selling his stock on the same day as the CDC report. Now you tell me that doesn't look shady. <sighs> Rummel, it looks shady, not because he's jumping shit, but because the pre-arranged sales of the vaccine are going to make him more money, as far as his stocks had shot up in price. Questions could be asked of insider trading. But he wasn't jumping shit, quite the contrary. He still remains the CEO and chairman. Faz's shares have gone up considerably since December 2020 and the announcement of a life-saving vaccine. And he still has over 80,000 shares in the company. Yeah, but what does the British Islamic Medical Association have to say about this? They agree with the report's findings and have endorsed each vaccine and the studies have even proved that each vaccine's halal. At the very least, even if you won't believe what I say or what any other health professional says, just don't listen to bogus people. So where have you been, Doc? This is exactly what I needed to hear. I can't believe I've been listening to all the nonsense and especially what Rumel had to say. There will always be things to be said. This is just one milestone. There will soon be a time when people may be asked to get inoculated, to keep the job or to go on holiday abroad or to get a job for the kids. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, definitely. There's still battles to be had. I don't know all the answers, and I can't make you take the vaccine, nor can I make you give your child the vaccine. But you shouldn't present falsehoods, especially from people who don't know their full name, or credentials, or what study they've conducted, under what variables. In it, Rommel? Yeah, you're right. But I'm not going to get a job for the kids. If they're fairly immune, what's the rush? I think it's so they have less likelihood of spreading the virus or from falling ill from it. I'm still waiting for the science on that one. When I have it, I will put it up onto the group. Anyways, <laughs> apologies for being so abrupt. I'm going to have to get back to work. See you guys and keep safe. Catch you in a bit, Doc. Bye. Thanks, Doc. You put me in my place. Right, I'll try and find something else to see if I can get you riled up on. But seriously... Thanks. Thanks, Doc. When COVID is all over, I'll make sure you come over to mine for that work. See you, mate. See you, Pat. Cheers for the info. Bye. No worries. Thanks, guys. <laughs>